All right, guys, how you doing? So this video is part two of the Predator 212cc stage two build for the four wheeler here. Now it's time for the official strip down of the four wheeler. That's where the valve came off and it smacked it shut right there and it's not cracked if it was cracked i would buy a new piston but if it's a little scuff i'm not really too worried about it all right so there you go engine all disassembled so first thing i'm going to put these stainless steel valves uh in the head right now and i'm going to put uh the 18 pound in it all right so i just uh, got the valve seated in the head with this uh, valve grounding compound all right, so sorry I didn't get on camera, but I did get the valve seated on there. It did take a little bit because uh, it took me an eternity trying to find the valve spring compressor, but I found it now. And yeah, it looks really good and it went together pretty easy. So on to the next part. All right, so I got my tap and die set here from Harbor Freight and I'm tapping a 7 16 thread in here, fine thread for the oil sensor hole. Boom! All right, so I got the piston back into the cylinder here. Uh, all I gotta do now is put the rod cap on. I already, you know, torqued down the spec and did all the oil clearance and stuff like that. All right, so a rod torqued down the spec. So now we're gonna install the cam. Boom! All right, so next we're gonna put the side cover on the engine now. All right, so I got it all torqued down to 17 foot-pounds, so now let's put the head on. All right, so we set our torque wrench to 17 foot-pounds. All right, so now I got to lap the flywheel onto the crank. I'll do that, and I'll put you back on. All right, so flywheel is lapped to the crank, so I'm just now put this pull start bell on. All right, so that's on. So now we're going to see if the piston's at top dead center so we can put the valves back in correctly. All 
All right, so let's get all that back together now. So now I'm gonna set the valve lash. Uh, that's kind of critical. All right, so I got the valve lash done to 0 0.003 is what the card said. So now I'm gonna bolt the coil back on to the flywheel and set it to, uh, what do you call it, 30 thousandths on right here, or 0 0.03. All right, so I got everything back together. Uh, now all I gotta do is add oil to it, put a little extra things on there, and then hopefully put it in the four-wheeler and maybe go for a ride tonight, I don't know. But anyway, this is the oil I'm putting in it for right now, just to kind of break it in. And I'm gonna do an oil change to let everything sit in. All right, so moment of truth. Will the four-wheeler start up or not? Now I did do many, 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 many more things off camera uh, than I filmed. What you saw is just a little bits and pieces as I explained before, but I did many other things off camera. So here we go. We're not getting spark. What? The kill switch not what's it? The kill switch wasn't on. Wow. Always check simple first. So yes guys, success, it actually runs. And yeah, it's definitely a lot more louder than it used to be. I just kinda feather the throttle because I don't wanna rev it too high for right now. But you know, once I change the oil, after it's uh, broken in, then I'll definitely turn it up some more RPMs. But, and tomorrow actually, I'm going to put the uh, clutch back on it. So yeah, this thing should fly. We got about maybe 30, 33 out of it, turning uh, 5,500, I think, something like that. I don't know, but it, it'll definitely turn about maybe 8,000 now after it's broken in. So yeah, we should probably hit about 40 miles an hour out of this thing. So yeah, I'm really happy. All right, so it's another day. Uh, looks like we are having some carburetor issues. Pretty typical for Tecumseys and Briggs and Stratton's, but not really for predators, so uh, just mainly idling. So I'm going to clean the idle jet real quick, and yeah. All right, so boom, got the idle done. I'm going to let it sit there and run in for a little bit, and, you know, let, it break, let everything break in, then I'm going to take it for a ride.
All right, y'all, that is really insane right there. Uh, I did say I want to keep it under 4,000, but, you know, kind of lost a little bit of patience. I did get on up there to 5,000. So I was kind of rolling along, and I hit it the full throttle, and, yeah. I can definitely tell it has a bigger cam in it. Uh, and this cam, by the way, the Mod 2 is perfect for this four-wheeler. You know, it still has, allows good low-end torque and also, you know, a decent bit of high-end power. But, you know, in a four-wheeler engine, you don't want, you know, high-end torque. You want low-end torque. So that's why I chose a smaller cam for this. But, yeah, I do think this thing's perfect now. The only thing, you know, I really do need now is a torque converter because this whole clutch system and jack shaft, like, every time I hit the gas, it... And then it sounds like it's about to fall all to pieces. And, yeah. So a torque converter would be a lot smoother, allow greater acceleration, and plus, you know, with it being a CVT, it'll vary the pulley, so you'll get even more top speed. And it'll just probably be overall more reliable. So next thing for this, hopefully be a torque converter. Now, I know y'all probably gonna give me grief for, you know, putting, you know, good billet parts and stuff in it and keeping the stock carburetor on it. Literally, y'all, the stock carburetor is fine for this four-wheeler. You know, it does not need a 22 millimeter Makuni carburetor. And if I was to put it on there, I had to put an extension right here and the carburetor be right here and the intake be way out here. So I would literally have no leg room. Plus the throttle care right here, I had to put it all right here. And where's that supposed to go? Nowhere. Look, look at this. Look on the racing go kart. Look how much this carburetor sticks out right here. And you got the whole intake right here. And look where the throttle cable is. So on the four wheeler, that wouldn't really want to work out. And y'all, the valve train differences in the racing go kart, this has a hot CM265 cam, Kermali push rods, stainless steel valves, and 26 pound springs. The four wheeler has a mod 2 stock push rods, stainless steel valves, and 18 pound valve springs. By the way, I did add like extra stickers on here, and they look really good. All right, so that'll be about it for this video. Uh, stage two build for the four wheeler definitely turned out great. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. And you know, if you didn't like this video, click on a thumbs down twice. And yeah, y'all should see me in the next one.